Israeli soldiers shot an unarmed civilian. But did they? And how can you know for sure? In 2015, MSNBC's Eamon Moyhilden reported that Israel had shot an unarmed man, even as his own camera crew showed footage of that very man running with a knife. And honest reporting followers sometimes ask us how to determine whether such reports are true. So here are some tools you can use right at home. Step one, do a Google search. If the article gives names of the supposed victims, you can use those names as search terms. If the only results you can find are from personal blogs or agenda-driven advocacy websites, that probably means the story could not be confirmed by professional journalists. Step two, if there are mainstream news reports, read them carefully. In 2015, Amnesty International, which has a well-known anti-Israel agenda, claimed the IDF had shot an unarmed Palestinian girl. Their claim rested entirely on totally anonymous, quote, witnesses who provided no supporting details. However, it was later confirmed that the girl was running at the soldiers with a knife. Journalists are required to be open and accountable with readers. That's called transparency. Using anonymous sources is an example of lack of transparency. Other common examples include failing to disclose that an eyewitness is actually a spokesperson for an anti-Israel group or even for a terror organization. You can detect a lot of this simply from a careful reading of the articles, and you can find more tools on the Honest Reporting website in our Redlines educational series.